took a bit of Gargan. Let's took a bit of Gargan. I'm gonna tell everybody about Gargan, the action figure. In 1985, Kenner almost released the Gargan action figure. What is a Gargan? Well, I'll tell you all about it. Oh. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with a whole new video. That's right, it's that time again for another video. In 1985, Kenner planned to release Gargan the Action Figure as part of that Power of the Force action figure line. Who was Gorgon? Well, she was in Return of the Jedi. She was a six-breasted, sexy dancer in Jabba's Palace. Now, people say she has six breasts, but I always thought it was just one set of breasts and two fat rolls. But I could be wrong. I haven't really looked in detail on that. But anyway, Kenner was going to make this action figure. That was until Lucasfilms told him no way. But we'll talk about that a little later. Let's look at the figure we almost got. First up, let's look at these reference photos of Gorgon that Lucasfilm sent Kenner. If you notice on these photos, they have black marks. This is something Lucasfilm would do to deter unauthorized publishing from vendors or if the photos fell into the wrong hands. That's the photo of the actress playing Gargan and the outfit she wore. I'm sure you remember her from Return of the Jedi. If not, here's her brief scene. Now that you know who we're talking about, let's take a look at the action figure we almost got. This photo is from one of the earliest stages of the figure. It's a hard copy statuette made of silicone. This next photo shows a figure in a die cast hard copy stage. This stage here looks more like the action figure we probably would have seen. The headdress is still clearly at the early stages and it's made out of rubber. The headdress is the only accessory of the figure that's known to exist. The figure was to have a skirt, but that skirt has never been found. The figure had no weapon or staff, or at least it didn't at the time of plans when Kenner canceled it. Do you have her skirt out there? If you do, please return it to Kenner. And this photo here shows probably the best look at what the figure would have looked like. This is the wax sculpture. You can see here the plan for the skirt. Have you seen the skirt? Do you have the skirt? If you do, call Kenner. The ridges on the figure seems to suggest that the skirt would not have been removable from the figure. How do we know this was going to be part of the 1985 Power of the Force line and not a second series of Power of the Force figures or the last series of Return of the Jedi figures? Well, here's how we can determine that. Here's a sketch of the Guardian Power of the Force coin. The figure and the sketch of the coin are dated 1984. Being that the Power of the Force figures were released in 1985, it's clear that this figure was planned for the 1985 Power of the Force line and not the Return of the Jedi line as they didn't have any coins and too early for a planned Series 2 line for Power of the Force. Why wasn't this action figure released and why didn't kids all over the world get to play with a six-breasted prostitute? I, I guess Lucasfilm just didn't see how much fun it would be for kids to play with a six-breasted slave of Jabba. I don't know about you, but it would have looked great on my Jabba the Hutt playset. <laughs> You'd think if Lucasfilm had a problem with this, they just wouldn't have sent those photos over to Kenner to start with. But I'm guessing that they sent the photos along with every other photo they had and didn't think anything about it. Kenner looked through these photos and said, let's make this one. It's kind of odd that Kenner would pick this figure to make out of all the aliens in the Jabba Palace that they didn't make. You'd think the dancer that got killed by the Rancor would be a lot better to make because kids knew that one more and it wasn't as fat and ugly. No offense. And that's a look at the only planned Star Wars character action figure that never got released. I want to thank the guys over at the Star Wars Collector's Archives for these photos. What do you think? Should they have released it? Would you have liked to play with this prostitute as a kid? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, please subscribe to this channel, ring that bell, and thumbs up. When you thumb up and leave comments below, it lets YouTube know you like my video and it recommends it to more people. So if you can do that, it's a big help. 
Or if you'd like to support it in another way, as always, head over to Patreon.com. Links up there or down there. Or head over to ThatJunkMan.com and get some great t-shirts like that one right there. That's right. If you're not going to wear that shirt, I wouldn't wear a shirt at all. Until we talk again, good day. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.